A group of students at South Jones Elementary School are using a national contest to make a difference. As WHLT's Carmen Ferris tells us, these sixth graders have big plans to make bus riding safer. Gifted teacher Melody Hicks entered her group of students into the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest. They had to find a community issue and fix it. The problem, student safety while crossing the street in front of a school bus. We're trying to keep them safe from getting hit. South Jones Elementary is one of 51 schools in the U.S. left in the competition. And these students are working hard to come up with a solution. We could get a bus monitor on there to like help the guide the kid to their house. We we could record like the bus driver's voice and when a car was coming they could say no stop. Hicks says they chose this task because it's an issue that hits close to home. Nathan Key was a boy in our county that got ran over by a car that illegally passed a bus and we um, recently in about three months ago another student got hit um, in Moselle. He was just a little boy who was getting off the bus. Kathy Gollaby has been driving a bus for eight years. She says loading and unloading are the most dangerous parts of the ride. They have to wait for me until they get my sign, which is my thumbs up, and I've already looked 15 times in every mirror to make sure nothing's coming behind us. Hicks says they want to be proactive rather than reactive, so they've narrowed all their ideas down to one. I'm drawing um, the stop sign, which we're trying to build. It's the stop sign, but it has a sensor on it, so if a car comes near the kid, it'll stop the car. Their plan is to attach a sensor to the stop arm of the bus, so if a car gets too close, and that will, like, beep, beep, beep when it's time. Alerting the driver and child to stop in their tracks. And now that they've chosen a solution. We're having an injured near come at some point, so they're probably going to help us kind of test it. After testing the theory, they'll submit a video of their progress next month. Fifteen schools will be chosen as national winners to present their solution to a panel of judges in New York. Connecting you to Pine Bolt News in Jones County, Carmen Farish, WHLT 22. After the fact. Well, already the school has one, two Samsung tablets, $20,000 worth of electronics, a laptop camera, and video editing software. Congratulations to them.